What's up, IntraWeb friends? It's your online buddy, Josh, a.k.a. Fexid. And I'm going to do a quick tutorial, so to speak, how-to on reptile lighting, in specific for the bearded dragon. Womp, 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 womp. Alright, so someone recently watched some of my reptile videos and had some good questions for me that maybe I didn't discuss properly in videos. So what I'm going to do is try to break down some of the products, the lights, and the things that I use to keep my dragon happy and healthy. What you're looking at now is a UVB bulb that is used to provide artificial sunlight, which is how these little guys absorb their calcium and their vitamin D3. And now the casing that this is, I have three of them set up because I have a large tank, it's six feet long. So these are 18 inch strip cases and you see the bulb fits in underneath. It's the basic kind of bulbs. Um, sorry, I get away from the light there. This is the bulb you're looking at. It's a 15 watt, 45 centimeters, 10.0 RepTiGlow. It's UVB. Again, I use the Exoterra brand. These ones, like I said, are a little more expensive. You're looking at, this one's $27.99. Just pull one out of the package here so you can see what we're looking at. And basically, it's just a tube light. You know, it's got two prongs on each end. You put it, you slide it down, and then you turn it. That's that. Your light is in. You flick your switch on. Good to go. Um, I got the smaller heat casing here. It's probably got, I think it's got a 75 watt in it right now. And that would be a bulb like this, 75 watt, uh, tight beam, it's a sun glow again, $8.99 for these. So they, they, they range in price generally depending on how many watts they are. Um, also good choice in lighting is all living things, uh, neodymium. This is again only for heat, it provides heat and UVA that the reptiles need. So you need one of these in combination with these at, at minimum, bare minimum. Depending on the size of your tank, you may need, like myself, you see I have the three strips at the back and two lights uh, at the front. That's to keep this end warm and I let the cooler end where there's shade kind of by his water stay cooler. Um, other good lights that are very expensive though, sorry, I should, I should show you my face at least once through this video instead of just doing old school behind the camera. That's how I got started though, doing reptile videos, not showing my face. Oh, text message, okay. I'll have to check that in a second. We have this bulb here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read the writing here, but it's an Exoterra Solar Glow. It's 120 volt and 125 watt. This is a big, big mother load of a bulb. Now this will provide temperatures in the high 90s to the to mid like low 100 101 102 the good thing about this though is this is a self ballast mercury ballast light bulb that provides both uva and uvb so you kind of kill two birds with one stone with having one of these unfortunately mine's burnt right now and these do run you about 65 dollars for one of these bulbs so they're not cheap by any means uh, the other thing that i wanted to talk about is this the Zilla Power Center. Now this is obviously just the box that I'm showing you. It's empty right now because I have it all hooked up here in the corner and it's got the time on it. You see that I'm filming this video. It's 5.30 so it'll probably probably be up later this evening sometime. Um, but what the Power Center is, it's a 24-hour digital timer. Okay, It has out, eight outlets. you got seven different time settings. Um, so you got the blue ones here, those would be your nighttime settings, these would be your daytime settings, and all of the four on the bottom would be constant power. It's pretty easy, I mean, once you get it uh, up and running, it's pretty easy to, uh, to maintain and to set your times and switch dates and stuff like that if you wanted to switch the time cycle or whatever. It's a very good thing to have if you're planning on keeping a dragon or any reptile for a long period of time. I know this video is kind of shoddy and all jumping around and stuff, so I'm sorry about that, but I was making it on the whim quickly for just for this guy here today. Um, and this is another thing I recommend getting. This is Barron's. Barron's is one of the best leading uh, people for making pet care information books and, you know, reptile care is very important when you're taking Bearded Dragon. You need to know all the facts, so go get yourself a, a book 
Uh, I don't know how much this cost me. If probably like probably like ten bucks or something like that. Um, and sand. Someone asked me the other day what kind of sand I use. There's a bag of the sand that I use right there. Desert sand, Exoterra again, same brand as always. Um, this bag costs about fifteen dollars. So there's quite a fair amount of cost that goes into this stuff. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to get away with getting uh, cheap products. My God, is that that's three in a row? I think they're all from Twitter too. So uh, I don't know. Anyways, okay, <laughs> it's funny. Um, this last thing I want to talk about is Mr. Lizard. It's always a good thing to have one of these misters. Uh, what you do is you take the pump here after it's filled with water you pump it up and you can spray down the corner of the tank here to kind of keep a humidity level up but with the dragon you don't want a high humidity level you want 50s so you can play with it like that but it's good still to have one of those just to keep purified water clean water and stuff like that for him to drink so uh, I guess that's really it if you have any more questions about the lighting I know this video is brutally long guys but um, that's it. The lighting, how I have it all set up is rigged up through the timer so it's on a 12 hour cycle, 12 on, 12 off. And you, like I said, I, a lot of heat concentrated towards one end here. You can see like if I step back, you can almost see the spots where it's brighter, the two spots like right about there and over here obviously underneath the two big lights and then you can see the shady spot down here in the corner so that's how I do with my tank and he seems very happy very content and well he's got his salad dish all blown up he must have ate like a little piggy this morning he doesn't get his worms every day like I said in the video there from my feeding video on my main channel I'm putting this on the uh, Fexit for real because um, I want to get my main channel's video a little more time to play before I upload another one right away. I usually like to only upload one a week there. This is where I'll flood flood the uploads on this channel and not worry so much how many views they, they get. So um, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if I have not answered your questions, please feel free to... Uh, you can comment if you want. I may just respond quickly to your comment. But if you really have... Uh, a serious question feel free to inbox me and all my links for my Facebook Twitter and all that good stuff is down below so you can follow me on the web or contact me elsewhere if you have further questions and uh, you guys know who I am Fexit and I'm signing out thanks for tuning in I know it's like 10 plus minutes so you guys are like damn dude what are you doing don't kill actually I'll probably try to edit some of the junk out if I can I don't know Maybe it'll be a little less than 10 minutes, but uh, it's a long one, so I have to apologize for that, guys, but thanks for sticking around. Talk to you soon.